Hey, Siege. What's sweet Moses? What happened to your mouth? What do you mean? You look like you kissed a hive of jellyfish. It's a young person's mouth. It's the mouth of youth. No youth has airbag lips. Did you get work done? Why would you get work done? It's preventative care, Ryan. I'm just trying to take steps to look myself as long as possible. You never looked like this before. Are you a doctor? What? Are you a doctor? No. Are you famous? Not really. Well, then your opinion is irrelevant. I'm a human who not only has lips, I have seen lips every day of my life for decades. These are not lips. Are you saying countless numbers of Hollywood actresses and influencers could be wrong? Yes, Siege. That's exactly what I'm saying. Crap! Well, that's the last time I get plastic surgery done in a retirement center. Oh, speaking of which, we're due to watch another movie. Demonic Plastic Surgeon MD, a.k.a. Dr. Carver 2. Fine, let's do it. Well, that was... I can't even think of words. This might be the most bizarre movie we have seen so far. So, Giant Blonde Lady is back as the demonic plastic surgeon's nurse. Once again, she's trying to raise her dead sister from the... dead. And this time, it takes place in a retirement center. Because old people are suckers for plastic surgery. And we have to get the band back together from the first movie. So we have Pancake Boobs Georgie. We have Nose Job, except... She apparently literally got every part of her body changed, so now she's a short blonde girl who's pregnant with another pillow. And the manager she had when she was modeling is now scamming old people out of their money by taking care of them for the last five minutes of their lives. So we start in true Jagged Edge production style by seeing a random person get killed who we don't know, don't care about, and will never think of again. Who are you talking about? It doesn't matter. Because suddenly we're with a new actress, who we don't realize is the same character as the first movie until way into the film. Our favorite OnlyFans chick is back and she's taking care of old people. Why are there only five people in this retirement center? How can they afford or need a staff of four or five nurses and service people? Two of the old people are sister wives, so they count as one. Giant blonde lady shows up as the new manager of this place and immediately changes the dress code. To party city naughty nurse uniforms. We know this because the uniforms say naughty nurse on the front. I feel like we're being trolled. She immediately kills this beautiful flower of a person who also used to be a model. The formula for this movie is the same. Sign up for plastic surgery, torture, then they get killed. Though this time, the elderly sister wives get rejuvenated for about 20 minutes. So they can melt on top of discount Russell Brand. I feel like I need to mention that Pancake Boobs Georgie magically gets a boob job from the demon doctor and just keeps them and it's never brought up again. This movie is so disjointed, and it's basically the same exact plot as the first, except that Georgie is a stone-cold murderer. Oh, right. She kills the agent lady for scamming, then shoots the revived dead sister. But not the giant blonde evil lady next to her. Then we learn that South Pacific Asian OnlyFans girl is the blonde sister's sister. Was she adopted? Nope. She says she got, wait for it, plastic surgery. To look Asian. Which would get her canceled on Twitter. So, Nose Job has the baby. As it turns out, this was their plan all along. So the demon can now inhabit the body of the newborn child. So, is the third movie going to have a baby running around cutting up people with a scalpel? If not, I will make that movie myself. This movie was sort of thrown together. Barely. And at the very end, Georgie sets the house on fire. Off screen. Yes, because that costs money. What? What just happened? My lips are back! It's like Georgie's boobs are gorgeous! I'm out. Vocal cords. Roll credits. <laughs>